Thank you, ma'am. I we really appreciate, appreciate you. this. Yeah, well, we appreciate you staying out and calling us. Okay, sir, I have a really serious uh, question for you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I work I work for this company for 15 years, mm -hmm. and uh, I pay uh, paid short-term and long-term disability out of my paycheck every two weeks, mm -hmm. and I had to have emergency surgery about a year ago, and uh, they refused to pay. And when we get sick, we were supposed to be able to... to uh, draw this money to help us pay our bills and things, you know, because it come out of our pocket, not the company's. Right. And so they refused to pay any of it because they said I did not meet their criteria, even though I died twice on the operating table. So I need to know what I need to do to be able to get my money back that I paid in out of my pocket for 15 years for this company. Well, you need to sit down with the lawyer, and you need to do that right away because uh, you're going to need a copy of your policy, and a lawyer is going to need to sit down with you, and y'all need to go through that policy and see what the terms and the conditions of that policy are, and and how you met those terms and conditions. And I and I'll tell you this: there's um, there's a law in Alabama called the law of bad faith that comes into play in your question. In Alabama, if you have a first-party insurance claim, in other words, if you are the one insured and the insurance company wrongfully denies your claim, then you can sue the insurance company for something called bad faith. It's a very serious claim. In addition to what they owed you under the policy, they can also owe you punitive damages for wrongfully denying you. So get in to see a lawyer, carry your policy with you, uh, probably going to need to order your medical records and compare your policy and what went on with you physically to see if those issues were covered. But uh, I would encourage you to do that right away. Is there a time frame? I mean, I know you're saying obviously time is of the essence and she needs to probably move forward with that. Mm -hmm. Is there a cutoff time that she needs to be aware of? Yeah, well, with a contract like that, you can have as much as six years to file a claim, but you really need to act on that right away. Yeah, she needs to act on that it. right away to look and see if there is actually bad faith involved in what the insurance company is doing to her. Well, I think when you say.